sharing this cross potent place where magical people meet. Today I'd like to discuss with you the Native American uh, animal totem zodiac and the major aspects that are going to be happening in 2016. Um, the first thing I'd like to discuss is a couple of eclipses that are going to be going on in March. March 9th there's a full moon eclipse in the totem of the wolf. And the wolf is known as the um, the enlightened romantic of of the animal totems. Uh, so a full moon is a, a bit of a culmination. This could mean that um, there could be a culmination in something along the lines of uh, spiritual nature or maybe a romantic nature. On March 23rd, there's a solar eclipse, new moon in uh, the totem of the crow. Uh, the crow is very charming and very uh, socially adept, but they can also be a little bit frivolous. So a new moon eclipse um, is is a bit of a, an initiation point. A new moon is usually when a good time to start things or when things the, the seeds are sprouting. And um, so usually if a romantic uh, thing happened uh, or a romantic relationship started during this time, you would think that it would be favored. I would just issue a a bit of caution because the sign of the crow can be a little bit frivolous and I would see if this relationship would have staying power if that was what happened during this time. Uh, May 26th, Jupiter trines Pluto. Uh, Jupiter being in the totem of the brown bear and Pluto in the totem of the goose. So Jupiter is uh, the planet of luck. It's also the planet of uh, expansion and that being in the, the sign of the brown bear which is very practical and upbuilding is a good thing being trined with Pluto in the sign of the goose who is also a bit of a um, constructive type personality so that that would be a very constructive trine that's going to be happening where um, things are very um, positively aspected there's more of a negative aspect with Saturn on May 18th squaring Neptune. Uh, this is where your tests of your versatility uh, in the totem of the owl who's very far-sighted and very adventurous and whatnot. This could be a, 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 um, a, a challenge of, of um, how well someone uh, looks to the future and looks uh, at the bright side of things. Uh, squaring Neptune in the totem of the wolf um, could mean that there might be some stress over your dreams and your hopes and your wishes in life. Um, a square to Neptune might make you ask, uh, what makes us all the same? Uh, is, your, is this dream a worthy dream? What, uh, what dreams have died away? Uh, Neptune is a good time to examine our dreams and see if they're still appropriate for us. Um, Mars goes retrograde in the, uh, starts out in the totem of the owl, which is a cultured and well-traveled sign in April 17th to June 29th. Uh, but on May 28th, as it's going backwards, it goes back into the sign of the snake. And this is going to be a big shift because that is a more secretive and impulsive totem. So be aware of that. Also in September, there's two more eclipses because they come in pairs like that. Um, the new moon solar eclipse in the sign of the brown bear. This is a uh, new moon is a, an initiation. Um, it's a time to begin uh, begin projects, especially in the sign of the brown bear, who is practical and loves to plan things out. Uh, September full moon is a culmination point, and that being in the sign of the wolf. Um, this would be a completion possibly about spiritual growth or about dreams coming true or romantic uh, uh, romantic involvements. Also in September, Jupiter goes into the totem of the crow. Uh, the 
crow is very lucky and Jupiter is very lucky and this is going to be a big shift from the woodpecker was the sign that started the year in who is uh, very pr more practical. In December we have Saturn, Trine, Uranus, Saturn and the, the totem of the owl and uh, they're a restless, uh, information-hungry totem. And being uh, in harmonious aspect with the falcon, who is um, always looking for change and uh, innovation and new, uh, new, um, new places to explore and uh, always wanting to see what's over the next hill. This is a good, positive aspect. Uh, it's going to be happening right around Christmas time. And then the day, December 26th, the next day, uh, Jupiter is in opposition with Uranus, which uh, Jupiter being in the totem of the crow, opposite Uranus in the totem of the falcon, the crow is gracious and eloquent, and that's going to be in opposition with the urgent sense, self-centeredness of Uranus. Uh, this might make it a little more difficult to... Uh, to uh, be able to incorporate everyone's wishes in a more diplomatic way. Also on December 29th, Uranus goes direct, thank goodness, and things, uh, changes in life are going to start to be more easy, go, uh, easier to deal with, and the uh, abruptness of, of things coming at us are going to be easier to handle once that goes direct. And I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, and I look forward to talking to you again. Thanks for watching.